Hey guys, we will be upgrading Alienware S18. This is R2 revi revision 2. So the idea is that we have a, a hard drive and we will be upgrading to SSD version. Uh, the idea to use adapter and so also do not reinstall Windows. So for this purpose we will use uh, a mini tool partition with a uh, wizard uh, free edition tool. And yeah, so we got everything that we need. We have a hard drive, so it's the same size as this. At least it shouldn't be less. I have a lot of stuff on this laptop, so I need basically upgrade it. And we have uh, uh, 2.5 serial ATA uh, to uh, uh, 3.0. So just make sure that your laptop, again, it's almost reusable for any Windows laptop. This solution shows that you have uh, 3.0 or it will take longer. So yeah, so let's uh, getting started. Uh, from this, so we still need kind of have a screw, uh, screwdriver to open the hood and start working on this. Open the adapter, so it works for Mac and Windows. So let's quickly open this. Should have adapter itself. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, let's see what else we have in the box. We have instruction, and we have even something more than that. Oh no, it's protective foam, I believe. I cannot pull it out, so it's okay. So, so instruction, and yeah, and the other stuff. And we have this piece again, blue mean, usually means uh, 3.0 uh, uh, USB and serial ATA adapter. So the data transfer and power will be through one cable, so you don't need additional power supply. Moving forward, hard drive, uh, SSD, solid hard. It's not so easy. As it might be, and we have hard drive, nicely packaged, it's additional tray, so the main specification for this is SSD, all good stuff, good speeds, and it's supposed to be 7 inches tall, so just, just to in case if it will be reusable in other system pay attention to that. So one sticker out and we have our SSD. So SSD and again serial uh, at a uh, interface. So just pay attention you have kind of short uh, and long connectors so it's a go like this. Doing this first time. Here we go. It's nicely fit. So we have our cable uh, adapter connected to her uh, new SSD. So it should not require any drivers, so we can basically connect to USB. So we yeah, find one available USB here. So you can see the sound, it should recognize a, a, a drive without any additional uh, additional uh, driver, so automatically Windows should pick up for you, we're talking 7, 8 and 10, uh, most probably, so um, we got this, so yeah, let's refresh this thingy, not yet. Okay, looks like we got it. Hold on. So we connected, we heard the sound, so it's light up, so all good from that perspective. Windows even got the icon that something was connected through USB, let me zoom in. Uh, as uh, was connected through USB, but it seems to be recognized as uh, uh, as devices and printers, so 
uh, and basically able to uh, eject this. So let's let's see what the device it's recognizing. Most probably it might require another uh, uh, reboot or maybe additional driver. So let's see. So reboot didn't help, which is obvious after all. So what we need to do here? So let me kind of bring it, close it. Uh, uh, the, uh, because it's brand new uh, a hard drive so it wasn't never used before we need to kind of access and create all appropriate partition so what you're gonna do uh, there is different ways we will use kind of uh, we'll try to use uh, default windows tools without any third party involved so what we need to go with the disk manager and as you can see, initialize disk. It's already in identified that we have something uh, in you that uh, cannot be used, and recommended us with. Uh, it's not master boot uh, record, so we'll do uh, whatever recommended here. Boom, and back to our disks. Uh, we have, as you can see, a disk C. Here that something will be uh, copying uh, almost five uh, gigabyte and uh, no uh, uh, disk. So again, uh, this is virtual uh, is, is CD. This is our C disk and this is our guy. Mm. 11 gigabyte. So we basically need to. Nope. This is this is our guy. Here, disk one. So what we're saying, we're saying one simple volume. Just for now, just to make sure that we can recognize all uh, default minimum size or all size to maximum, we will assign some letter. In my case, it will be next letter E. It doesn't matter because uh, I will be using as the only disk here. Uh, we go here uh, and we're saying, and let me call it. I don't know. S is this is a D500. Doesn't matter. And quick format uh, NFS, uh, default Windows uh, uh, file system format. Uh, and quick format should be just fine. It's brand new one. I guess it it, sh it will be enough. Let's do that. Last warning. Finish. Still formatting here. You can see. Uh, also, as you can see from here, uh, because it operates, it's blinking. So before it was constant light, right now it's uh, it's blinking. Still formatting, which is I would expect a faster one. But yeah, let's see. I will put it here so we can see it. Oh, here we go. It's like in two minutes or so. You already got it. It was quick format. And Windows also dedicated that we have new uh, drive. So let's go to disk. And you can see, so we can take this out. So uh, some reads, writes. So basically it's active. And most important, uh, we have C, that it's Windows and the only disk here on this laptop. And here's another connected through USB. So let's go inside. Yep, pretty open, a full size, two sixty five gigabyte, as we as we need it. So the next step, uh, we have mini tool partition uh, wizard free edition here. Let's download this and compatible with Windows ten. In this case, we have Windows ten. Let's download this. It's like forty four in this version, forty four megabytes. So let's wait. Right, we have the, this software, let's download this and install actually. So we will accept agreement. Hopefully guys you can see it. Let me a little bit zoom in more. Okay. So we go next. We select program files, I believe it's fine. And we, we have a mini tool partition wizard tool version 10 and we'll create shortcut. Let's do it. Okay, and we're ready to launch it. Let's, let's launch it right away. Okie dokie. 
Okay, we will have even a recommendation to upgrade. So we got the application. It's after we launch it, or you can do this through your icon. And let's go to the tool itself. So it's I believe slightly familiar view that we saw on that uh, disk manager from Windows. Let's even kind of compare. Yeah, kind of the same boxes because it's the same configuration, basically another tool and view. Uh, we do have our disk one that we need to copy and SSD uh, below. Here, as you remember, we created partition here, but for in this case, we don't need partition, so we'll really delete it. So if you can see select, right button click here, delete, or you can select this piece and say delete uh, partition again and locate it and we also delete partition here so we have one single piece 265 gigabytes uh, so we actually redo it and we shouldn't see this disk anymore as available we still oh, interesting oh, we still for some reason see it uh, anyway so let's move forward uh, what we're gonna do here we will migrate OS stands for operation system to uh, SSD we have one option uh, to do uh, replace my system disk with another hard disk it's our case again uh, a hard drive we replace with SSD all files and everything so it's first one options we go and it asks us for destination disk it's already located the original one disk one in this case is Toshiba uh, 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 Toshiba hard drive and our USB SSD uh, we go next and it says um, uh, we have couple options to do this fit partition to entire disk or uh, copy partition without uh, uh, resizes in our case because it's equal uh, hard drives 500 and 500 uh, or it we can have even bigger hard drives so it's you probably need to go with option one if you have smaller uh, we don't uh, uh, it probably it's good options to got a uh, fit partition in uh, to entire disk so in our case we copy without uh, a resize so uh, we go uh, we select one and uh, um, and also this is notes to boot from new disk please configure a uh, computer uh, bias uh, to make sure that we will boot up so it wouldn't be also in not our case because we will swipe a uh, hard drive and put SSD so we click finish here and most important like hey it's already happened but not not so quick uh, we, uh, we need to actually apply changes so as you can see disk 1 and disk 2 will be uh, the same equal with all whatever backups and recovery it might have and we will click apply so it will stay that it's close of all, um, all application we will do this all application at least whatever was open at the yeah, let's close this last one and we will go by the way you have usually a lot of applications still running in background so it's kind of good idea to close them uh, from here so it will avoid additional uh, additional usage of hard drive which is might speed up the process or at least wouldn't be so so hassling okay we good to go Yes, so it's right now it's basically copying the whole partition creation and whole file system. This hard drive in particular it's almost full. We're talking about 400 plus gigabytes from hard drive speed basically to USB 3 to SSD. So bottleneck most probably will be our hard drive, original hard drive and um, USB. So let's say it will take some time so we'll post and resume uh, when we uh, when it's kind of getting closer and by the way you can follow the steps here so it's like 7 or 15 painting uh, operation so it's kind of entertaining to watch and so here is the total 40 percent and the other one i believe is it's only important to to watch uh, this pending operation and total process 
we'll see how accurate it might be the percentage oh here we go so uh, what it says it says oh uh, you using uh, copy cannot be copied because driving being used so we need really close other applications that might be in use so uh, i will check one more time what else can be closed i close it some apps but i believe it will not help let's give a try it says the same so it's it's pretty actively used at laptops there is a lot of kind of services running around but, but it's all right so we will say restart now so restart in progress we have alienware and it's supposed to be windows So and instead of Windows we got uh, the partition wizard, so it's all right, no worries. So it's in progress. So in this case, uh, application uh, what this tool achieves there is no other use of uh, hard drive only the kind of copying whatever needs to be copied. So there is no Windows involved. So we can see actively original disk is used, and at the moment not, but it's not blinking. But yeah. Uh, that uh, hard drive will be copying uh, too. So uh, this is partition copying, and we see the percentage, and we may follow this one. We have another one from eight operations. So basically, from Windows represented, we went back to console. So let me pause it, uh, pause it here, and I'll be back. One minute uh, passed, still checking on status, 37% from operation 1. It definitely takes time. Let's wait. As you can see, some procedure involved uh, hard drive and this one is blinking means uh, a full usage read and write. So reading and writing to this one through, through USB cable. It takes its time, so again, let's wait. Location here, well, it you can see it's like seven minutes from after reboot. Well, it's longer process. You don't want to be without power, so it's really recommended to actually have your power supply. So we have that one, and again. We still on operation one forty six percent video of timing so it's still working and we have twenty six minutes after reboot and it's still like sixty three percent time check so forty one a minute seventy five percent so getting closer we have one hour five minute minutes so ninety percent uh, first operation one hour at uh, 20 minutes so the biggest partition seems to be over we have four uh, couple in my case smaller partition right now we have another four i believe where it was so it like 11 uh, 11 gigabytes or something so yeah here we go 11 uh, gigabytes so it will take a little bit faster and after that it should be over so we done with step in uh, eight so it's rebooting by default it should use still our main hard drive and it looks like it's something that's happening it's not super fast it's supposed to be an ssd so let's check that portion okay we are back so let's see what's happened here so we still have our we supposed to have our old uh, hard disk we created a lot a bunch of a bunch of for uh, the same operation system it's like duplicated so the main idea to reboot it uh, disconnect our main drive and hook up uh, on the ssd so what we're gonna do is so unplug usb first this is out so windows reacted and also gently unplug adapter here so we have our have our drive ssd out and uh, after that we go to back to uh, the PC and we will reboot 
uh, and we'll uh, turn it off. I'm gonna unplug power first. Let's turn it off. Just to make sure. Turn it around. You need screws. Driver. So in that case it's a whole set. It's in smaller side. So most probably it's this one that I have. I need smaller. So on this one only plate that we need to access. So it should be relatively simple. So one here. Here's a click. Here's a click that it's over. And here is also over. It's matter just to pull it gently, and we're done. So what we have here: easy access to uh, memory. So again, you can easily upgrade for yourself. Alienware support DDR3, uh, so you can easily hook up. Of, of, of 8 and 8, 16 gigabyte total, easily uh, use your favorite or cheap or brand and you're good to go. So here's we have a hard drive. The recommendation when you do any of this configuration, uh, it's unplug any devices like this uh, USB toggle, so this is out, and also uh, battery. So, but in this case I don't have re uh, easy access to battery, so unfortunately I cannot do this. So I will... I will really proceed directly, uh, directly with, uh, uh, directly with hard drive. I need to unplug hard drive on motherboard first. So here's a special kind of hook here that should help us to pull it out. Pull it. Here we go. So this connector is out. After that, four hard drives here. Here one hard drive. Uh, sorry, hard drive. Uh, screws. This is one. Keep them. We will need them later. Two. This is a hard one. Third one, and here is fourth one, all four out, so when it's out it should be easily moved out, so gently move this, so oh, there's nothing can should stop you, so again when this uh, S, uh, S, uh, HAD cable unplug it, so we have the hard drive. So we can move laptop uh, for now uh, further. So we really need to take out hard drive. In this case, it's uh, 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 Toshiba and non SSD. So and we have four screws uh, two on each side here and here. So basically, unscrew them. One out. Two out and pay attention they are different caddy from original uh, uh, original is that you unscrew laptop so keep them separately so we have four out so while you we unscrewed this so keep them together and take the caddy out so this the main challenge this is the cable that we need it back and it looks like it's glued here yeah it's glued so we need to proceed and detach the cable because we will use uh, use it later so maybe we will not do the full det we basically need to detach hmm. I still need to unplug the cable let me figure out yeah, there's a couple way to do this, so maybe uh, one of them it's really untape this cable from caddy and go. But I was managed uh, fishing around and basically unplug um, 
directly from caddy so again we have pure uh, a hard drive nothing no cables no other stickers here and doing so we can get our hard drive ssd one uh, so make sure that you will put uh, into right uh, slot or direction so this one should be relatively easy to kind of slide in and again if you need to figure out this is shorter one uh, for data and for power here so and the same should pattern should repeat on a uh, disk uh, hard drive itself and we are doing like this so and we need to slide it in just make sure that it fit nicely here we go we, uh, we heard a click so and it's nicely fit uh, in the right position so after that it's matter while the connector is here we really need to only screw uh, uh, screw it back so make sure that it's well centered and uh, and we will put the screws back in place here's one after that just to be sure you will do by diagonal another one and fine i don't know if you can see it this is whole it's almost through the whole hard drive so the hard drive it's super light ssd it's kind of smaller chip inside and we screw this one and we'll repeat with all uh, another two so all four screws are in place so it's solid so the idea to put hard drive back so we put at the same location uh, the idea to put this side first it kind of has a bigger bigger spot and it will slide in so it should be nicely fit almost no wiggling room here uh, so we have a, a cable back to motherboard okay i believe it is back it's not something yeah it's back and we will use the same four screws that we used before to actually to put in place or secure the caddy so we have all, all four screws back so this cable as they used to be so it's matter to put the cover back this one see what's behind so you have nice form that protect you actually this is uh, ssd or previous hard drive for extra stress so you can kind of pin it around and use this make sure that it's all uh, while you screw it it's one story but after that just make sure that everything firm goes through the all edges you don't want to have any open kind of cracks so it's not a big deal but you can get extra dust that you don't want to inside don't go too crazy on the screws so it's nice as supposed to be so and moment of truth let's turn this this guy and see what happened is up hard drive is blinking let's see if any speed difference and if we get our windows and everything else back the okay, first time it took a while so we need to check the performance after uh, so let me log in Significantly uh, a lot faster, hard drive still working, but everything uh, seems to be responsive and ready to go. So from forever to, I would say, a few seconds or several seconds, it's way too fast. And again, it was video about uh, upgrading uh, 
upgrading uh, hard drive uh, from original to SSD. It was Alienware Satin R2 uh, without Windows reinstallation and all your files will be there using free uh, software for doing this. It took about one and a half hour and yeah, it works super fast as supposed to. So thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.